Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Dean Arbrick B, and it's Monday, and it's time for Mail Time Monday. That's right, there's no blaster box in front of me. It's not Blast Off Monday. If you missed that, go back and watch it. Head over to the channel, go check out all the blaster box Monday stuff. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is Mail Time Monday. So we got eight more boxes to go. I'm actually getting down to the nitty gritty of the original like huge pile. Um, I got only got one more video next week of the original huge pile. Now, by the time that video goes and up, I'm sure I'll have plenty more boxes to keep this thing going. Uh, I have no idea how many. I, I, I'm bulk recording these right now, so I have no idea actually how many I recorded and how long when's it going to take me to wake. You know, if you're watching this and it could be like January, maybe. I don't, I don't even know. Maybe December, January. I'm not sure at this point. Um, but let me know. Well, I'll know. I don't know. What am I talking about? Let's just get to it. Uh, hit all the subscri buttons, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Uh, check out all the links to everything. Watch all the videos, previous videos, and all that stuff. Go check out check out the archives and whatever. All right, let's get to it. Um, just get um, this one out of the way since I know what it is because it's Mattel Creations WWE. It says what it is. It's the Ultimate Edition Muhammad Ali action figure set. Cue dramatic opening music. Muhammad Ali. I don't know what Muhammad Ali's song would have been. I don't think he had a song. Uh, that was before, like, people had, like, entrance musics. Well, not everyone, but before everyone had entrance music, I, I should say. Um, there we go. It is Muhammad Ali, the greatest of all time. Now, again, this is probably sealed. Yeah, it's sealed. So, I don't want to open him. So, yeah, they have him as boxer, which is weird. I mean, I guess it depicts when he fought Gorilla Monsoon or maybe um, Antonio Inoki, I suppose. And then, of course, it has him as a referee from WrestleMania 1. Um, he who is not courageous enough to take risks will accomplish nothing in life. Muhammad Ali said that. Um, and then some stuff there. So there we go. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to see what the actual figures look like, you can look on, look at online. Check it out online and stuff. But for me, I like to keep my stuff all sealed up. So there you go. And yell at me in the comments if you want. You should open it. It's cool. Be a loose figure guy, not a box guy. Whatever. Just, just the way I do it. All right, moving on. We got uh, Amazon. Let's see what we got from Amazon. Appears to be some sort of Funko related thing, I believe. I think. Maybe. Come on. Maybe? Actually, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's Funko. But. Oh, you know what? Uh, I think I know what these are. Okay. Actually, does it say what they are? Actually, it does say what they are. But these are Funko Pops, but they're two packs. We got the Brock Lesnar and Undertaker two pack from WrestleMania 30. And of course, Brock beat the Undertaker. And ended the streak. So that's a cool one. And then we got from WrestleMania. I guess it would have been 34, I think, right? That would have been 34, I believe. Two pack. Of Triple H and Ronda Rousey. Now, it's interesting that they went with Triple H and Ronda Rousey. 
I mean, I guess that sort of makes sense, but at the same time, the match was Triple H and Stephanie versus Ronda Rousey and Kurt Angle. So, I mean, I guess they could have had all, could have done a four pack, I suppose, but for whatever reason, they went with just Triple H and Ronda Rousey, but I guess it works that way too. Um, but there you go. Triple H and Ronda Rousey and The Undertaker and Brock Lesnar depicting WrestleMania moments, I suppose. And a couple of two packs. Cool stuff there. All right. Some little stuff out of the way. All right. So next up, we got uh, Entertainment Earth. Entertaining Earthlings, at least. Yeah. Earth. Fragile handle with care. A weird kind of box they got here. And we got some more Fung Ku Pop Papa Roonies. We got Ravishing Rick Rude. Now it's interesting that they chose this depiction of Ravishing Rick Rude uh, after he cut his hair. I guess this is, and he kind of has the beard-ish. So I guess this would have been like Wrestle, no, this would have been like SummerSlam 90, I guess? Cause he's gone pretty, pretty quickly after that. And I don't remember him having the short hair for very long in the WWE. Now, of course, then he went to WCW and had a run there before he broke his back wrestling sting. So I don't, I'd have to go back and look to see if that's what the tights he was wearing for SummerSlam. No, I don't totally remember. And then of course we got Vader, Vader time. It's time, it's time, it's Vader time. Now, unfortunately these boxes are a little pressed in on the backs. That's, I mean, I don't know if that's from shipping or just the way they came out of the factory. Always a little annoying, but we got Vader. Vader gets a pop. Now this is definitely WWE Vader, I'd imagine. I don't doesn't appear to be WCW version of Vader, but I suppose it could have been. I feel like he wore that. I don't know, actually I don't remember him having, I don't remember his gear ever saying Vader time in WCW. It might have though. I don't remember. I know he had like a one that had different colors, but I feel like he also had a black and red one. And WCW. But anyways, easily popped that could have been WCW for all I know, but I'm assuming they did depict WWE. Uh, Alright. So much trash. Alright. Um, not the pops. There's trash from opening stuff. Alright, what else? What do we want to do next? Um... Let's take a break from the Funkos, because I know this isn't Funkos. Uh, we got Fulfillment Department. I believe this is from Steel City Collectibles, because I noticed that they always put your initials up there from Steel City Collectibles. And so that I believe that's what that is. So let's see what we got from Steel City Collectibles. And unfortunately, the Steel City Collectibles, they like to use packing peanuts. So there's a whole bunch of packing peanuts in here. Oh boy. Love the packing peanuts. Said no one ever. All right, so we got hanger boxes and blaster boxes. You know, I'm, I believe there's, why are these also, oh, hanger boxes. And then I'll just be hanging your boxes. From Series 2 tops. No, there's blaster boxes in here too. I'm not going to... I believe there's 10 of each. 10 hangers, 10 blasters. We'll be opening these up. Down the line. For hanger over Saturday and for blast off Monday. I'm not going to open I go through and take a... The peanuts are going to go all over the place. So I'll deal with it later. But for the... So the purposes of the... Um, this video show off these now these might be the last time we see these formats because i 
as I'm recording this, I don't have the box yet, but I will be having a similar box like this for update. An update that made some changes. Now, I don't know if they're permanent changes or just testing the waters, but they made some changes. Um, and while I don't think the changes to the blasters and the hangers are all that big a deal, I mean, there are less cards, so it is somewhat significant, but they did a couple of different little things. The hanger box, I mean, the bla the hobby boxes is where it gets more interesting. Um, so... Yeah, and we might actually get to that in this video, because I do think I have that box somewhere. Um, but it might be next week. I don't know. But yeah, we'll we'll talk about that later when we get to that. But yeah, that's that's series two stuff there. Uh, blasters and hanger boxes. All right, as I knock everything over. Yeah, man. All right. Sorry about that. I apologize. All right. Um. All right. Let's get to this next box. Is Amazon? What is, what is this? Oh. Okay. Got a fun. Uh, I think it is a Funko Pop. We'll get to it. And then we got this, which actually, depending on when this goes up, this might be a little spoiler alert for something. Um, it's supposed to be a gift, Christmas gift, but Monopoly WrestleMania. I was like, ah, you know what? Seems cool enough. Now it's not like a typical. I feel. I feel like it's a little. It's a little different than the regular Monopoly. Like there's belts and stuff. And, like, you build the ring to roll the dice. Um, um, I think it plays a little bit different from the normal Monopoly, but... Oh, it should be interesting. Cool to see from Hasbro. So, WWE and Hasbro back at it again. And then we got this this box here, which I believe is a Funko Pop. And this is the Trish Stratus. Now, this one I didn't even realize existed. And then I was looking at something, and I'm like, what is that Funko Pop? I've never even seen that one. Trish Stratus. It's TrishStratus.com exclusive, even though I bought it on Amazon. It's a diamond collection. Um, yeah, she's in different gear. It's got the same number, which is always kind of weird to me, because I'm like, how come sometimes, even though it's a variation with different gear they'll have the same number but then sometimes they don't have the same number uh, i feel like sometimes like the macho man like i don't know sometimes they switch it up and give them different numbers and other times they don't i feel like they usually do but like i've seen ones before like where it's like oh this is kind of the same as the other one but it's got a different number i don't know whatever it doesn't matter trish stratus funko pop right there the Tristratus.com exclusive. Now, if you go to Tristratus.com, you can buy them on there. He also has, like, um, autograph versions as well. But um, they they were a little bit... They're, like, from Canada, and they're a little bit more expensive, and the shipping was a lot more. <laughs> so I was like, wait, these got they got these on Amazon? Uh, let's get them on Amazon. Um, but you could get them from other places as well. Um, all right, moving on. Uh, we got uh, this from Funko.com, Loungefly.com. Um, see what we got in here. It is a box in a box, so that's cool. If I can get it out, maybe it's not cool. See what's in this box. Oh, 
Okay. I know what this is. <laughs> so there was like, I thought it was like in a box. But, uh, well, whatever, I guess I'll go through it. So there was a like Freddy Funko thingy dingy, whatever. It was like, get six random pops for whatever price. So I, I was like, all right, whatever. I'll check it out. So I guess here are six pops. I don't, I don't know anything about this. We got a box lunch exclusive thumper from Disney Classics. So, okay. I was going to save this for its own video, but unfortunately, I, I guess I ruined it. I wasn't sure what it was. We got a Vel Sarthra Winter Convention Limited Edition from Star Wars. We got the Mighty Thor Pop in a Box exclusive Glows in the Dark from Thor Love and Thunder. <clears throat> we got the Hedwig with Letter from the Wondrous Convention 2023 Limited Edition. We got the Seinfeld Elaine, just a regular old Seinfeld Elaine. I think I already have this, um, but okay. And then here's the thing that, like, was the thing. The reason it was like, oh, it was, a, it was the anniversary. The anniversary Freddy Funko.com exclusives. I was like, you got this, or I think there was different variations of this maybe, and then five other random pops. So it's kind of a mystery box. I was going to save that for its own video, but unfortunately, I didn't realize what it was. <laughs> so I just... I guess I should have looked at the side of the box and be like, oh, wait a minute. I think I know what this is and saved it for later. But hey, whatever. There it is. I apologize. Uh, but we got to get a video within a video, I guess, in, in that case. I'm just going to put these back right here. knock the camera over again um all right uh a couple more boxes for today we got tops fulfillment uh this actually might be that box i was talking about a second ago about the update nope this is more serious too. no this is wait no yeah it's more serious too. this kind of goes along with that other box I just opened with all the hangers and the blasters from Series 2. It is the Jumbo box. Now, the Jumbo for update, they didn't touch. They exactly the same as it's been since they changed it the last time. The hobby is where it get, got interesting and they changed stuff up. But this is still... What they've been doing since 2019, 24 packs, 10, or 24 packs, 14 cards per pack. You obviously get the one autograph or relic. Still the same there. Update, they changed it. It's interesting, interesting to say the least. All right, so yeah, we'll be opening up this one in due time. This one obviously will not be open for quite a while as this was, this is my box to continue the going through the years um and you know we still got a while to go before we get to 2023 so but this one should be up at some point not too distant future all right we got one more box for today and that will do it for this week and then next week we will get to the final the final eight boxes from this original run um from when I brought back however however long ago however long ago that first video was back at the end of October. And truth be told, I'm recording this. It's still October as I'm recording this. Alright, so we got this big old box for one thing in here. That's kind of annoying. But okay. 
It is the 2023 Tops Complete set. This is the uh, version, I think it's a Target exclusive version that includes one exclusive Chrome Rookie Relic or Autographed Relic card. Um, now, I don't know totally who those could be. There might be a list over here somewhere. Yeah, so those ones. Um, so Rushman, Volpe, Hander, Hander, Gunner, Henderson, uh, Michael Harris, Michael Harris the second, and Riley Green. I guess it's both, but you get either the Relic or more, hopefully, better, the Autograph Relic. Um, I don't know what the odds of getting a relic versus an autograph relic might say if you go to that. I'm not sure. You also got the rookie image variation cards along with the full set. Now, I say full set, but what about update? They never put the update in with... It's like, I can't get the set. I can't buy the update set. And, I mean, it used to be that way. You get the regular set and then the update set, but you can't buy the update set. It's not included in the complete set. It's kind of weird. But anyways, there it is. That's going to do it for today. Come back next week. We have the final eight boxes from this original, well, you know, this this set of boxes that I had piled up for many, many months. But don't worry. There'll be more boxes coming in by the time we'll get to that. So there'll be more videos to go for Mail Time Monday. It's not going away. It's just, at least for now. It might eventually have to go away for a little bit, like it did earlier early this year or whatever. But um, don't worry. Uh, but hit all the buttons. Subscribe, like, share. My camera is all wonky still. Um, I'll fix this before I record the next video. Um, like, share, comment, all that fun stuff. Don't comment on my camera skills and knock me over cameras and stuff. Just It, it happens. Um, but thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, have fun. Talk to you next time. Bye.